bedtime favorites. Let's see which Disney friend we're visiting today. Ooh. Donald Duck. Donald Duck goes camping. Yippee! Huey, Dewey, and Louie cried. They had just found out that their uncle, Donald Duck, was taking them camping. Donald and his nephews began to load their gear into the car. I've got the tent and the food, Donald said. Here are the fishing poles, Huey said. Don't forget the sleeping bags, Louie reminded them. I'm bringing a camping guidebook, said Dewey. There's all kinds of, inform of great information in here about wildlife. You never know, we might need it. I mean, you never know, we might need it. You don't need a guidebook, Donald said confidently. I know everything there is to know about camping. Donald said to, Donald and his nephews hopped into the car and headed toward the forest. A couple of hours later, they arrived in the woods and found a camping spot. Huey and Louie helped their uncle put up the tent while Dewey read the guidebook. When they were finished setting up the tent, they put their food inside a wooden locker to keep it away from wild animals. The guidebook says to hang the food locker from a tree, said Dewey. It says bears will eat almost anything. I told you, I know everything there is to know about camping, Donald said. Animals aren't going to take food from me. Just then, two squirrels scampered down from a big oak tree and snatched a bag of peanuts. Donald shouted as the squirrel scurried back up the tree. Come back here! The guidebook says it's good to share with little animals, said Louie. But we shouldn't try to share with bears. I don't care what the book says. Those are my peanuts, replied Donald. He grabbed an axe from the camping supplies. With all his might, Donald swung the axe toward the base of the tree. Crack! He chopped a large hole in the tree trunk and a stream of acorns spilled onto the ground. Why did you do that, Uncle Donald? asked Dewey. You spilled the squirrel's supply of acorns for the winter. They stole my peanuts, said Donald angrily. The squirrels glared at Donald Duck and then darted away. Donald chuckled. <laughs> what silly little animals. A little while later, Huey looked up from his camping book. Uh-oh, he said, pointing to the woods. A large bear was charging toward them. Run, Donald shouted. He and his nephew scrambled up some nearby trees. The bear came to a stop. He had spotted the picnic table. He began to sniff at the food locker. The two squirrels had arrived with the bear, and they sat on a branch overlooking the campsite. With one swipe of his big paw, the bear opened up the food locker. Then he took a baked ham and left. The guidebook was right, said Huey. We should have hung the locker from a tree. Donald climbed down to the ground. I don't need a book. To t I don't need a book to tell me what to do, he said, annoyed. The two squirrels ran along the tree branches and chattered at Donald again. This time they seemed to be laughing at him. I'll get even with you, Donald yelled. He climbed toward the squirrels. Just as he was about to grab them, they leaped onto a thin branch that was high above the river. I got you now. Maybe I've got you now, said Donald. He crawled out onto the branch. Uncle Donald, Dewey shouted. The book says to stay off small branches. Crack. Suddenly, the branch broke and Donald fell into the river. The water swiftly carried him downstream. His nephews ran alongside him. Soon, they heard the thundering sound of a waterfall. Help, Donald cried. Pull me out. He tried to swim toward the river bank, but the current was too strong. Up in the trees, the squirrels chattered gleefully. Shame on you, Louie scolded the squirrels. 
How would you feel if your uncle was heading toward a waterfall? The squirrels stopped laughing and darted into the underbrush. Yeah, squirrels, what's wrong with you? You shouldn't be laughing at Donald. In the river, Donald spotted a big rock and grabbed onto it. Do something, he called to his nephews. Anything. Look in the guidebook. Huey, Dewey, and Louie started flipping through the camping guide, searching for a way to help their uncle. They only looked up when the squirrels t returned with a brown beaver. Wait, when the squirrels returned with a brown beaver. The beaver waddled to a tree that stood beside the river and began to gnaw at it. What's he doing? asked Louie. He's trying to help, Dewey replied. If the tree falls into the river, it might be long enough to reach Uncle Donald. Please hurry. A few minutes later, the tree fell over with a crash. It landed next to the rock that Donald was clinging to. Donald crept along the tree trunk toward dry land. Soon he was safely ashore. Huey, Dewey, and Louie gave him a big hug. You made it, Dewey exclaimed. Were you scared? Louie asked. Don't worry, Uncle Donald, Huey said. I would have thought of something. Donald didn't answer. Instead, he ran toward his car. Where are you going? His nephews called. Aren't you going to thank the animals who rescued you? Donald just hopped in the car and sped away. Huey, Dewey, and Louie looked at each other and shrugged. Donald returned in an hour. His car was filled with presents for the animals who had helped him. He had nuts for the squirrels, branches for the beaver, and a big bag of seeds for the birds. The animals were delighted and began to munch on their treats. Well, that was very sweet, Donald. That was very sweet. Donald also had a sack of cement and a trowel. What's that for? Louis asked. You'll see, said Donald. He mixed the cement into a thick paste and spread it with the trowel over the hole in the squirrel's big oak tree. Donald's nephews watched him patch the hole. Do you really know how to fix trees? asked Huey. I do now, Donald said sheepishly. I read all about it in the camping guidebook. You can learn a lot from books, you know. <laughs> that you can, Donald. That you can. <laughs> Have you ever gone on an exciting camping trip? Let me know in the comments below. And stay tuned for the final book in Bedtime Favorites. See you later. Bye.